Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to get um, Minecraft mods for version beta 1.7.3. I did a, a tutorial on this a long time ago, and I'll link it in the description, even though it's really bad. But basically, you're going to need two things. The Minecraft launcher, and the um, beta 1.7.3 jar. All I need to do to get the Bay 1.7.3 jar is to open up Minecraft, click Edit Profile, and then go to Version Selection, check this box, and select Old Beta, version 1.7.3, and then hit Play, and it should download it to the directory. It will also play 1.7.3, but that's not the point. We're trying to get mods. Mods to work with 1.7.3. So, go to versions, go to here, copy this and just paste it on your desktop so that it'll be easier to access. And next up, actually, go back to where we just were because um, this next step will involve moving this. So, if you don't care about how your Minecraft is and just want to go ahead and basically if you don't plan on coming back to the Minecraft you have now just select this and hit delete however if you're planning on coming back just cut and then paste it somewhere I would go to extra files backups I'm gonna create a new folder called Minecraft new and I'm just gonna paste it here I can go ahead and launch the old launcher. Enter in your username. I am not showing my email address, by the way. I already have enough spam in my inbox. Yeah, I think that's correct. Right. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The old launcher isn't supported. Hold on. Let me just check. One more time. Maybe I used... Yep. So, the old launcher isn't supported, so you actually have to... And I forgot about this, but you also have to download the um, bin folder for Minecraft, which I will also link in the description. I downloaded this. The reason why I have it downloaded already is because I remember needing it for something, but I couldn't remember what bef just before doing this. So what you do have to do now is in your app data folder. You should now have a blank dot minecraft folder. Go ahead and create a new folder in there called bin spelled just like that. Has to be spelled that way or else it won't work. Um, extract it to that folder or just do it this way. Oh come on. Alright, perfect. Now hit play offline. And now, we actually have version beta 1.2, not beta 1.7. This is what we needed the jar for. And you can do actually do this with any jar file you want that is before 1.5.2 or not before 1.5.2 before 1.6 because that's when the new launcher was added 
So, rename this to Minecraft. Spelled just like that, once again. And go ahead and go into the bin file. You'll have a bunch of new stuff here. So it'd actually be... Oh, whoops, this isn't... Sorry, this isn't the correct folder. I got really confused there for a second. Um, go back into your bin folder. And... Move this and replace the file. And now, go ahead and run this again. And now I gotta type this all back up. You don't even have to log in, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, now we're at 1.7.3. So, now you have the old launcher. So, finally, it's time to add in some mods. So, basically, now you can just add in all the mods you want. So, I'm going to look for some mods. This is how you download that, by the way. Let's just... Go, let's go get some mods. So you're going to need mod loader. Is this it? Or is this a junk website? It looks like a junk website. Alright, sorry. Mod loader. This looks better. Alright. Hopefully, he still has the new um, mod loader. Yep, old versions. Last time I checked, which was a long time ago, it was back in 2013, he still had, um, yep, he still has them up. So he, it goes all the way back to alpha... Alpha 1.2.4 underscore 01. So theoretically, you could use Alpha 1.2.4 underscore 01. I'm not exactly sure how one could do that, though. Considering I'm not sure if there were any mods out there at the time. I know there was one mod out for one Alpha 1.2.6. Um... Okay. So, hold on. Open this. Select everything. And I forgot you can't extract it because it's. Well, you can, but, you know, it's difficult. Now I'll go ahead and place this back into the app data folder. Go to dot Minecraft. Go to Ben, and just just do what you would normally do. Um, yeah, delete the meta imp folder. Just go on there and follow those instructions. Once you've deleted the meta imp folder, copy all this into there. All these classes. do it. It didn't crash on me. It was just waiting for me to respond to that. Um, now, go ahead and run the game again just to make both make sure it works and um, make sure it doesn't black screen you. And it appears to be working. Now you can go ahead and download the mods. And I think that these are probably the hardest to come by. Oh, you know what? Go to the mod loader site again.
There should be some mods on here. Yeah, here they go. Here we go. Alright, let's try... Um, I want to try two of them. Where is... Alright, there's the flooded gate. There's the shelf. I'll actually go ahead and grab the shelf one. There it is. Go ahead and download it. Oh yeah, and if there's all these other, I had, I remember having an incident with this a while ago. But if there's all these other um, ads that say download, remember to click this one by the file name. Go up. Just follow. Make sure to follow the instructions. I believe there's a... This is the part where I get a bit um, iffy on things. Because once again, I haven't done this in almost three years. Yeah, there's just a mods folder. Alright, so... Simple as that. Let's just get... Um, shelf mod in there. And we are now done. So this is the way I had to do it back in um, 2013. And basically, um, I don't know if there's like a different way to do it now. However, this is just the way I'm familiar with. I'm sure someone's come up with like this new .exe file that will install, you know, 1.7.3 and mod loader and all that. Just ready for you to use. But, I'm not exactly sure. So let's just test this out. Oh, you have to press I. There it is. There's the shelf. So there you go, it's working. You can place stuff on it. I'm gonna place block on the shelf. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how you do it. So if you um well if you liked this video, then please leave me some feedback. Not going to ask. Wow. Those are some weird clouds. What if I just change the graphics to fast? Yep, they're working now. I'm assuming this is like a weird glitch with mod loader. But yeah, please leave me some feedback. Um, and tell me if there's this new advanced way of doing it, because I really do not want to continue doing it like this. It's a really long, painful, 15-minute method. And who knows, maybe I could create some better way to do this, but probably not. My programming skills are basically, I can create a very simple game, that's it. So yeah. See you then.